What's going on, everybody? It's Rick from Garden with Bar Chucking. So, I ended up getting a little gear for uh, Christmas and my birthday. I'm gonna go ahead, take you over to the stove real quick before I head outside to plant some stuff. I'll show you when we get over there, but uh, it's something dealing with garlic, and I think you guys are gonna find it interesting. It's a neat little experiment I'm gonna try this year. Let's head over to the stove, and I'll show you what I'm doing. So last year I grew hardneck garlic from Josh and the City Stead. I allowed some of the scapes to actually go to seed, and these technically aren't really true seeds. These are called bulbles or bulblets or pups. Um, I kind of like bulblet. So essentially, it's just a mini clove of garlic. These are actually true to the parent plant, so in two seasons, it's going to be an identical clone to the garlic that I grew last year. I went ahead, I counted them up, there was 57. So I'm actually going to plant this in the raised garden bed that I just planted the other uh, hard neck and soft neck varieties of garlic in. I'm going to head outside now, so come along, check it out. In doing a little research, one suggested to plant in a small six inch container approximately one to two inch spacing and then actually bury it into the ground uh, so about an inch of the the container was still above the surface um, this is because when you go to find these later on they uh, they're going to be very tiny the size that they are right now uh, they're only going to get to maybe about a half inch a half inch across so that's still going to be pretty small and you're just going to have a little bit of growth on the top so uh, doing it this way I can go ahead basically remove this whole pot <laughs> dump dump the container out and then I have all of those bulblets which will then be clove size uh, ready for planting for the following year and here it's going to be a little bit more difficult however that's why we're experimenting we're only looking for about a one to two inch spacing on these not like your uh, your regular garlic where you're looking for four to six inch and what I've done is I dug down and uh, removed some of that soil so then all I have to do is just cover back over top So I have a few more, so what I'm going to do is cover these and then plant out in this other area. And because I love it, I'm using some castings. There's some worms in that handful, I'll leave them for now. Okay. So I added a nice layer of pine mulch right to the top of where I just planted the bulblets. Uh, this should go ahead, help give them a little bit more insulation. I have the galvanized steel cage. Yeah, so I'm gonna place that back over the bed uh, because I have squirrels here and they go crazy. Um, I seen them hopping in my other beds just the other day, digging and rooting through it. So they're burying seeds or digging stuff up that they've buried in the past. So to avoid having my garlic get all dug up, I'm covering that back up uh, with the cage. If you guys ever went ahead and uh, tried growing bulblets before, let me know down in the comments. So I think it's going to be kind of interesting to see these results, and I'll make sure I do a video showing how well they grew. And if you're interested in the experiment just like I am, follow along, and in the summer, I'll show you the results. Thanks for coming along, checking out the video. Everybody have a great day.